Hey Crypt Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Today's episode is a little different to what I normally do. It's kind of a story time, but I've also returned to the location that features in the story that is of interest. So a while ago I did a video and I mentioned an occasion where I may have cited the Grim Reaper. So today I'm going to be telling you all about that as well as revisiting the location, the scene of the crime, so to say, where it actually happened. So literally where I am sitting right now, just next to me is where I cited this entity, if you like. So many years ago, uh, when I was just finishing high school, I went to schoolies. And if you're not Australian, you probably have no idea what schoolies is. It's basically like a spring break though. So when you're finishing high school, obviously everyone's all excited for, for getting out of school, being done with that. You go and you celebrate, you go to a big party. And here in South Australia, a lot of people come down south to the bottom of our state uh, to celebrate and party down in Victor Harbour. So I came down here with a bunch of friends. We hired out a cabin, which is where I am sitting right now. And I think that we came down for four or five nights and you party every single night. There's different parties planned. So we were doing that. And the first, I don't know, three nights I was fine. I went out drinking, partying, and it was, it was a blast really. But on the last day that we were here, the, the last party night, I got incredibly sick, like sick as a dog. So the kind of illness that I had was, I would say like a 48 hour virus or something. So I got an extremely high temperature. I felt nauseous. I felt, you know, dizzy and just ill. So I decided, nah, I ain't going out till the last night of the party. I am staying in. So throughout the day, I kind of got progressively worse and more and more sick. And my friends were getting kind of concerned for me. So they put me in uh, one of the bunk beds and I remember I was laying, the bunk bed was kind of just here to my right, but I was laying there and there was a lot of people coming in and out of our cabin. Not just people that were kind of staying with us, but you know, other friends, other people that we went to school with and just completely random people were coming in and out all the time. And I was laying there and at the foot of my bed, I could see a man standing there and he was standing in this area kind of just watching me but what is really really weird and the, the creepiest thing about him is I couldn't really see his face he was so dark like very very like a, a totally black figure I couldn't make out his face his his facial features were also completely shaded and covered by a hat so interestingly he was wearing a hat and um, you know, the more and more I've gotten into the paranormal, the more I've learned about things like shadow people and the, the hat man. And it kind of very much sounds like that. But I was laying in bed, looking at this creepy ass dude staring at me from the bottom, the, the bottom of my bed, just like completely like, ugh, it was, I don't know. It really, really creeped me out. So I said to my friends, I was like, who is this dude at the foot of my bed? And I guess everyone in the room was like, what? What dude, what, what are you talking about? There's no one there. And I was like, yeah, the, the guy with the hat, like, can we get rid of him? He's kind of freaking me out. And all of my friends were a bit like, oh, like what is going on? Some of them actually thought that I had taken something, that I had taken drugs, which I hadn't. I was just incredibly sick. So for me, I believe, um, that I was hallucinating because I had such a high temperature. I ended up being very, very sick, so much so that I actually ended up in hospital that evening. Uh, but you know, they looked after me and I was fine. I was able to come back to the cabin that night. All good, but I did see something then in that moment. And I know that a lot of my friends were pretty freaked out about it. So some people were saying, oh, is Amy gonna die? Like she's seeing the Grim Reaper. She's seeing some, you know, creepy ass dude standing at the foot of her bed. And that's kind of where the, the story <laughs> comes from, that people thought that I was being visited by the Grim Reaper. I never thought that. I wasn't freaking out so much, like heap scared. It was just like, really seedy like this guy he was freaking me out he was i guess scaring me a bit but it was more just like i'm uncomfortable with you kind of just standing there and staring at me like leave <laughs> go away <laughs> but yeah so a lot of my friends were freaking out uh and then obviously like it got to a point where everyone was freaked out enough to be like uh like amy needs medical help i 
knew in my myself that I was okay, I wasn't dying, so I felt pretty confident that I didn't need to go to hospital, but you know, I had enough people in my ear telling me to go, so I did go, I got checked out, I was okay. I was sick for, as I said, like 48 hours and then I came good, but the when the um, ambulance people who, who were called to come and see me uh, visited they knew that I wasn't on drugs, but they also said, hey, we're a bit concerned because you do have a really, really high temperature. And they told me, you know, what um, the normal temperature range is and the lethal temperature temperature range is. I can't even remember what it was, but mine was pretty, <laughs> pretty high up on that scale. So they were like, you know, we would like you to come in and kind of get checked out. Um, so I didn't go in the ambulance, but I did end up going to, to hospital and it was a whole thing. But the reason I've returned here is because I'm more interested in the entity that visited me. Was I really gonna die? I don't think that I was. You know, was I really visited by the Grim Reaper? I don't really think so. But maybe I was visited by some kind of entity. Maybe my high temperature can totally explain this away and it was, you know, just something that I hallucinated, just something that I seen. Or maybe I was kind of uh, on the on the edge of seeing something and I had been put into a different mind state where I was closer to the paranormal realm and I was uh, more susceptible to seeing something. If you guys haven't done so already, go and check out my psychology and the paranormal video that I filmed a couple of weeks ago. I will link that below. But that is where I kind of talk about and debate this kind of stuff a lot. So I'm, I'm, my, my main point is I actually you know, seeing something because you're hallucinating, is there an ex something explainable in your psychology that's making you see something? Or have you entered a different state of awareness or consciousness that has brought you closer to the paranormal realm and allows you to see stuff? Maybe I was visited by the hat man, maybe that was a grim reaper and I was about to die. Luckily I didn't. Or maybe I was just hallucinating it and it was nothing. Either way, we have returned to the cabin tonight Jared and I are spending the night. We are going to do a little bit of an investigation, but yeah, I'm just excited to kind of show you guys around, show you where we stayed, and I think it's going to be a fun night. All right, Crypt Keepers, Jared and I are just kind of waiting for nightfall now to kind of reach out. Uh, it's my favorite thing to do, to, to reach out when it is the night. Uh, but yeah, I just want to kind of show you guys the cabin so you, that you get a feel for it and kind of understand where I saw this weird looking faceless dark hat man entity, Grim Reaper, whatever you would like to call him. <laughs> I don't know if that's rude, hopefully he doesn't take offense to it. Who knows if he's even still here after all these years. But this is the sort of little kitchen area of the cabin. Now it's a little bit different now to how it was laid out when I, I visited all those years ago. I don't know if maybe it was bought in just for, for schoolies, but there was a bunk bed in here. Sorry, I've just got all my lights set up to further set the mood. But um, yeah, for schoolies, there was a bunk bed just here in this corner. So I was kind of laying here with my head down this end my feet down this end and then this guy this man was kind of standing i guess right here he was kind of like because it was a bunk bed i had a pole here he was almost like here right near the pole kind of looking around at me which i don't know it really it kind of gives me goosebumps just just thinking about it because i can picture so vividly so so clearly in my head what he looked like to me now please leave a comment below what your guys thoughts are on this do you think that it was actually something paranormal a real paranormal experience or do you kind of get the feeling as well that i was just hallucinating because i was so freaking sick and it's fine if if you don't think it was paranormal at all i just thought it would be a fun video to come here and like revisit everything that happened and there was a number of you who had some interest in this story so yeah let me know do you think it was maybe a hat man I, i'm still not sold on grim reaper but i just like saying that because everyone was like holy Amy's about to die. <laughs> I'm happy that I didn't though. But yeah, we're just waiting to lose light. It is a very stormy, rainy night, so I don't know if you can hear the little raindrops every now and then. This kind of sounds cool. But yeah, let's just wait till we lose light and we'll reach out to this guy. Okay, so update. Jar and I were just just finished eating dinner. We we're watching an episode of American Dad on TV while we just like let our food settle before we investigate and we heard some weird rumbling at like sounded like it was outside and i was like oh is that thunder and jared's like oh it could be someone opening the screen door of of a cabin 
kind of what it sounded like. And then we heard footsteps. Like this, this is just like hollow floor. There's no foundation. Oh, yeah. But we heard footsteps and it sounded like it was in here with us. <laughs> I mean, maybe these cabins are haunted. I, I don't know any stories or like history. They seem pretty like modern. I don't know if they have a reason to be haunted or whatever. It sounded like someone was in here with us. The only thing I can think of, the logical thing, is there's like another cabin beside us. So maybe it's like someone super friggin' heavy footed is over there. What do you reckon, Jared? Well, it's a separate cabin, not touching this building at all, not touching this cabin at all. So we wouldn't be able to feel the vibration and hear them walking. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Maybe we should start now. You ready? Have you told people where we are? No. Maybe make a note of saying, guys, if you want to know what caravan park we're at and what cabin we're in, then... That just... Were you filming that? I wasn't pointing at it, but that cable just fell down. I just unhooked my phone, so maybe I left it like... I don't know, on the edge or something. That was weird. Okay. Alright guys, so we're just going to kick off our investigation now because we heard those footsteps. I'm not saying that it's necessarily paranormal, but it was very weird. Like it weirded both of us out enough to be like, okay, let's um, turn off our cartoons and like reach out. I also want to make note, I don't know how loud it's going to be on the microphone. It is raining quite heavy. There's a lot of storms tonight. Um, so I, I guess it kind of sets a nice ambience, but if you're hearing something, then it is likely rain. I have set up a couple of devices. So down here to my right, um, the green light on the floor is K2 meter and I've got two capels on the floor as well. So that'll be interesting. The capels are motion activated. So if they move, they'll light up and imagine hearing the footsteps paired with the capels lighting up. When the footsteps happened, I felt like I could feel the vibrations in the floor. See, I'm not sure I could feel them, but my feet were up on the couch like this. I could so feel them. You, you could feel it. Mm -hmm. It was very odd. Like it sounded very like it's in the room with us. And even the thunder-ish sound, which could have been someone sliding their door open, sounded like really loud. Like <laughs> there was thunder right near us. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start my... Uh, I'm just going to run ghost tube and kind of see if... What was that? What was that? I don't know. Ghost tube and kind of see if... Ghost tube and kind of see if... Ghost tube and kind of see if... What did you hear then? Movement. So I just hit record on Ghost Tube, FYI. I'm just going to put that on the couch in between us. <gasps> EMF just went off. That's weird. That shouldn't be my phone either. My name is Amy and I came here... Must have been like 10 years or more ago. And I seen somebody standing literally where I'm sitting now. If there is someone around that remembers me, who showed themselves to me all those years ago, can you give me a sign that you're here? Can you show yourself to me again? Can you join us, come sit on the couch with us? Can you move one of the balls I've left on the floor or go towards the green light on the floor? That was like the TV just cracked or something. That noise is in the room. I don't know what it will sound like on the recording. Can you make something move? I'm not sure if that was you that made that noise, but it's hard for us 
to know if it was you because there's so many raindrops on this cabin at the moment. I heard it crack again. Can you wear my flip flops? Bums. Are you the Grim Reaper? Are you the Hat Man? It is kind of freaky because where I'm sitting is more or less where I saw him standing. I also want to note, leave me a comment if any of you have actually seen like the hat man or a hat man. A lot of the images I've seen of the hat man online don't really fit the description for what I saw. And what I saw, um, he was wearing like a large kind of hat that came up, but the front of the hat was really pointy. It kind of like came around into a long point coming downwards, down to help cover his face. I'd love for you to give me a sign that you're here. I haven't been here for a long, long time, so I don't know if you remember me, but I remember you very well. I swear I keep hearing movement down here, but I'm not sure if it's the rain or not. It's so, yeah, it's so loud because of the rain. And we're in a little, like, I don't know, tin cabin. <laughs> it actually sounds quite nice, I think, like, soothing. Are you able to move something? When I was last here, I was here with a lot of other people, but nobody else saw you. It was only me who saw you. Why is that? That's the telly again. <clears throat> Do you know what my name is? Why did you visit me? out of battery look Great, yeah. all right I'm drain batteries in. yeah I don't I think these are new batteries to be honest which is weird you know there's the thought that spirits can drain batteries to um, use their energy so I don't know, I, let's change them. I'm gonna need some light. All right, Crypt Keepers, so I'm gonna try the spirit box now. I've just changed the batteries. I think that they were new, like, I mean, not brand new, but it's still weird that they're completely dead. Now I've also set up Ghost Tube SLS. So that's filming me, so you guys should see me. Literally it is just picking up uh, images in the environment, the depth 
and then mapping out anything that looks like a human. So you should see it mapping me. Now, it's not mapping anything else. So if all of a sudden something comes into frame that is getting mapped, that will be creepy as fudge. I mean, Hatman, Grim Reaper, Sir, whatever you would like to be called. If you are around and you do remember me, please come back and say hello. I would love that. Show yourself, move one of these balls on the floor. I'm also gonna put, I'm also gonna put on a device right now. It's a little bit loud, but I mean, maybe you can use it to actually talk to me, so it's a good thing. Yeah, don't be shy to come say hello. My name is Amy, and I'm here with Jared. And I would love to talk to anyone that might be around. If you can hear this device, don't be scared of it. Can you step forward and maybe tell me your name? Are you able to come and talk to me? Can you tell me where I am? Hey, did you finish? Oh, did it? Is there a man here that wears a hat? Who is he? tune it up because I mean I'm not getting anything from the spirit box that I can hear but the K2 lighting up there's nothing here around that should be messing with it and of course I'm sitting right in the area where I saw this man all right guys so I wouldn't say anything crazy has happened and what I mean by that is when we were kind of trying to reach out to this entity I feel like we didn't get a proper response so there were some strange things that happened we had um the k2 go off a number of times and I still feel weird about those footsteps it still felt like it was in this cabin it may not have been may not have been anything but just like it, it just felt weird now I'm not going to tell you this is a haunted place like I it has no history that is like apparent or known to me the only thing that i can say is that i did have an experience here myself all those years ago now whether that was um something that was meant for me something that was attached to the location i can't really say maybe i was literally just hallucinating it but i would love to hear your thoughts on on what you think actually happened i'd also love to hear if anyone has been visited by an, an entity that sounds similar to this or under like similar circumstances maybe you are very sick and um, you know a hat man appeared or a shadow person or the grim reaper I don't know uh, please let me know in the comments I love to hear from you guys but I think that we kind of kind of leave it at that um, there's not like too much else that I can show you of the location I mean there's a bedroom and like a bathroom down there but nothing happened to me down there it was all right here right in this spot so if anything it's been kind of cool for me to just come back here and reminisce on you know bringing back all these terrible memories of schoolies <laughs> uh, but it's been fun so I hope that you guys have had fun too that you enjoyed the episode if you did enjoy it please remember to like comment share and subscribe if you want to do any reading about the haunted locations I've visited from all around the world then head to my website amyscrypt.com you guys can also follow me I'm on uh, Facebook Twitter and Instagram at Amy's Crypt I'm also posting heaps of bonus content on my YouTube and my Patreon at the moment and I'm gonna link them below for you guys but thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers until next time